Welcome back to School of Calisthenics. We're going to take you through a beginner's bodyweight workout with Tim, Georgie and Jacko, wherever he is. We're going to show you six exercises using a portable pull-up rack set in three different positions. There's loads of different movements we can get involved in, so let's get going. So we're going to use a chin-up and we've got the rack set on its highest position and we're going to use a band for the first exercise and then we're going to show you a couple of progressions on from there. So George just looped the band through, she's going to pull it down, feet are going to go in to support it. This chin-up grip is taking it an underhand position, nice and strong and she's just going to drop in and then pull herself up to the top position. If you need more support, you can just use a thicker band and we can just start to then feel that position conscious that we are lowering down under control and we're not just allowing ourselves to go slack and fall into the bottom position. If we're feeling stronger, we can do this as well. We can just take our feet out of the band, slide it to the side and we'll just get George to show us a progression as she pulls through. And again, you've got an opportunity here to, to work that eccentric phase as you pull up and then lower yourself down on the control show as the eccentric one, George, so he comes up and then she's just gonna drop in nice and slow. As she drops down to position. And that's our chin-up progressions using a band or going through it with body weight only. Okay, going through the uh, hanging leg raise, Tim's just gonna hang from the bar, make sure that his shoulders are active, so his ears lift up. And then from this active position, he's gonna tuck the knees into the chest and lower back down. When he lowers down, he's lowering down nice and controlled. And if he wants to make it more challenging, from here he can extend the legs out and take them all the way up. And then back down again, lowering down nice and controlled to avoid any swinging in the bottom. The other thing you'll notice is he's looking forward the whole time. He's not letting the head fly all the way back. So that's your hanging knee raise or hanging leg raise. So first two exercises are done. Let's take it from the top level and drop it down to the halfway point. So we've lowered the beginner's rack to the middle height and then we're gonna go through some dips. So to begin with, just take a band and as you place it across the two bars, first of all, pull it quite tight. Make sure that you've got a full palm grip over the top so that band doesn't go in anywhere. And then from there, we're gonna get the knees into the band to support some of our body weight. From here, Jacko's just gonna send the elbows back and the chest down and then push back up to full extension at the top. Notice at the top, what he's not doing is sinking down into the shoulders. He's really pressing his ears up to the ceiling. And then from there, he goes back down into his dips and in the elbows behind and pushing back up to full extension. So from here, we can uh, give a negative dip variation a go. Just take the band away, jump your body to the top, nice and active through the shoulders at the top. And then from here, send the elbows back nice and slow down into the bottom. If you've got plenty of strength here, feel free to push up to the top and do the full dip. Just like that. There you go. <laughs> and that's your dip. All right, so we're hanging out with Georgie on the beginner's rack at this second level, where one of the great things I love about the, the versatility of this height is some of the rowing and pulling exercises that we can do, and you get to support yourself and build up some of that strength gradually, rather than just constantly trying to do pull-ups when they feel too hard. So this is a great one where Georgie's gonna use her feet to uh, assist her and help get up for the pull-up. So, all the same um, coaching cues are applied, so the shoulders are going to be put into that active position. From there, she's going to drive the elbow down to the side. That's what's going to raise it up. Chest touches the bar and slowly controls back down. There's no point in trying to rush these. We're trying to build strength. So we are going under control, keeping tension through the, through the shoulders, through the arms. Nice active position, we'll do another nice one with the elbow. When the elbow drives down and reaches and goes back behind to the side, that's her getting up to the top. Your job is not to try and stand up with your feet and just use your hands slightly and do it nice and fast like that because we're not going to be building strength. So your feet are there to help you and assist you to do the action of this pull-up that we're trying to do, but they're not there to do the job for you. If that starts to feel good and when that starts to feel good, you're going to pull yourself up to the top using as least amount of effort for your feet as possible. Once you're at the top, can you actually take the feet off the floor hold and then slowly lower down without any support. So we're just working on that eccentric portion as you build up the strength to do our full pull-ups. That is a great way to use a little bit of assistance at this lovely middle height for the beginner's rack. Let's drop it down to the final height. 
So we're down to the lowest side on the rack and we're going to go through some push-up variations. Jacko's going to take us through that now. And we're having an awesome time with it as well. So, um, yeah, this low height, one of the nice things about this position is, yes, it's down low, but if you think about where the hands are in relation to feet, they're slightly higher up, so the body angle is uh, above horizontal, just making our push-up a little bit easier, and we can play with different hand positions in this shape. One of the things George is going to make sure she's doing is shoulder blades are nicely in place, so ear, uh, shoulder is not up by the ear, we've got, a, yeah, so not into that shrug position where we've got a nice active position through the shoulder blades. Tummy's stuck in tight, ready to take a punch, and abs are on, and bum's on tight. Uh, imagining you've got a 50 pound note between your butt cheeks, those that are English, and it's a windy day and she doesn't want to lose that, so we're really clamping that, clamping those glutes on. That's going to keep this in a nice straight line. So she's going to drop then down into a position where elbows stay close to the body, shoulders in a nice position, drives back up. So that's her in a normal sort of position. We can explore with her hands a little bit wider and drive back up and you can explore the hands a little bit narrower or even take them onto the side position which you think what that is like is a lot more like that dip position we had earlier but because we're horizontal uh, it's going to be a little bit easier feet supported on the floor and it's nice because you're having to maintain a nice body position so your core is working to maintain that trunk angle the last exercise that I'm going to demonstrate is going to challenge our core as well in this press-up position when we're going to be stepping up and down in this plank position. George is going to explain what's going on. So if Jacko starts on the floor in a plank position, nice and active through the shoulder, so he's pushing up through the upper back. Belly switched on, if I was going to punch him in the stomach. And then squeezing his butt nice and tight like he's trying to crack a walnut between his butt cheeks. And then from here, all he's going to do is start to walk the hands up onto the bars and back down again. Take a look at his hips, because actually what we want to try and avoid doing is rocking the hips excessively side to side. So instead, he's going to make sure he stabilises his midline, controls his hips, moves his hands up and down onto the bars and back to the floor. And that's a fun plank step up variation. So they're the six exercises we have for you today for this workout, but obviously they can vary and they can change. So depending on where you're doing this at home, at the gym, what type of equipment that you've got available to you, feel free to adapt those. But what we want you to do is work with the principles that we put in place around how you can make them slightly easier, so regress them or make them a little bit harder as you try to explore your different range of motion, different ways that you're moving and building strength at the same time. You've got a bit of freedom when it comes to reps and sets and how you structure a workout. You might want to do those individual exercises, do two to three sets, work six to ten repetitions in each of those, or you might superset them. So the two hanging ones from the bar, you might work through one exercise, do the pull-ups, and then go straight into the hanging leg raises with no rest, and you maybe give yourself 60 seconds after that. Or you can go through a big circuit and do top to bottom six exercises on the balance, mixing it up, keeping it all fresh. It's entirely up to you. Do whatever you feel is going to have a nice effect on what your training goals are, what you enjoy, but most, most of all, have fun with just moving your body weight through some progressively uh, more challenging exercises in different positions. If you like the look of the beginner's rack and the versatility that it gives you, we have those available on our website, so check those out. They ship worldwide, so anybody, anywhere can get them. And if you haven't checked out the virtual classroom where all of our online training and programs are, make sure you have checked out at scorecardscience.com and you'll see the link through to the virtual classroom where you can find out everything that is in there and engage with all the students that are working hard to redefine their impossible alongside us. Till next time, class dismissed.